Hey friends, it's The Cause with Midnight Lights Gaming bringing you another spellcrafting tutorial here where we're focusing on blue magic or Tanta Prov's magic. And I got a question in the comments of another spellcrafting guide that made me want to try and find something to help folks out. So let's just go through real quick what where um, what's going to be helped most in, in this little lap we're going to do. So we're going to see a lot of tangos that are vulnerable to Tanta Prov's magic and that come in pretty good clusters. So that applies to almost all of these. The ones that we're not going to cover in this are, we're not going to see any Tantas minions or nightmares uh, in this. There are some Tantas minions nearby, uh, but they're not that nearby. And if you really want like an efficient lap to just crank this stuff out, that would be good. You can see I've already got a few of these and I can't see what the challenge used to be. But uh, trust me that all of these will be easier in this lap we're about to do because you're going to be able to do things like cataract level two where we're going to have plenty of tangos that are vulnerable to provs magic we're going to be able to build up power no problem five or more enemies that shouldn't be a problem some of these fan bolts also were like 10 enemies at once and the zombie hordes are just way better for that in my opinion but you might be able to pull that off here anyway let's go ahead and show you where we're at so we are currently at the the Water Garden Central Refuge. You'll know this as the first refuge in the demo. And you can see these are the two locations in our lap where you can just hit those two up, come back here, hit these two up, and come back here. There are also some birds here. Uh, I'll, I'll put right here. Uh, there are birds on, in this location too. But what I like about coming all the way back here, so I'll show you where we are on the Big Mac. We're right in the beginning of Avalite. Um, pretty close to Sepal. Um, but what I like about this area is that the, the, the tangos are just not as difficult as where you get um, Tanta Prov's magic. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll, I'll show you this lap. Um, oh, let me show you which, two, which I'm working on. So I need to be able to hit five or more enemies with one strike. I'm still working on this flow one. Let's go and 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 pick one, because um, it looks like I only have two. Yeah, 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 yeah. No nightmares. Those are Tantus minions. What else can we use? Let's do. Yeah, we'll do this. I might be able to pull that off all in 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 this. I'm gonna have to build that magic up. Um, but let's go ahead and. All right, so let me start by showing you where the birds are, which are, there's plenty of them, they're a little weaker. I'm not gonna lie, in the name of getting some spellcraft challenges done here, I take an embarrassingly large amount of damage from birds. So the, the spell, the cluster bolt, that's the spell that involves killing flying tangos. Um, so yeah, you're just gonna try and automatically get it up to level three. If you, or as high as you've up, updated it by parkouring around, hitting R2, holding R2, and then letting go. That automatically charges it to level 3 or your highest level, which you probably already know. I try not to. You can see sometimes the it's the wrong attack that's doing damage. You could turn off auto-aim and try and work more on targeting to prevent this from happening. That one hurt a lot. Come on. Sometimes I'll run back right into where I did the... Yeah, yeah. Because that will... Because they're obviously attracted to you. So if you kind of drop them right on close to you and then... That, that will help with the birds, because um, they'll come closer to you. All right, we're in our second location. Again, we're like two seconds from the refuge now. Right here, right next to the, the belfry. And so I don't Whoa. know if my blue magic is... I'm going to try and herd these animals. 
Oh yeah, we're good to go. So I'm just gonna try and run some circles here. Oh, and I'll just knock my some rush out while I do it. Don't mind if I do. Because I find that if you do this in like tighter and tighter circles, it sort of like hurts them. And that just did a whole bunch. And all of these take, oh, I should have shown you. Oh, I still can. The Bogarts are vulnerable, super vulnerable, um, as are the uh, Maricodus. Maricodus. Yeah, that's, we'll go with that. Um, so now I just got to build up magic. So I can do it again. Pop, 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 pop. Let me go to the, the one I actually like. What is it even called? Chain Bolt. It's just kind of overpowered right from the jump. And if you can... I really should be using targeting. Yeah, see, that's that's kind of nice. It's going to take me a while to charge up my blue magic. But let's go to our third location. You don't need to see me do all of this. Um, so again, the birds were here on the path. That's where we just were with Bert, uh, Bogarts and Little and some deer. And then this is going to be more Bogarts, more deer, some break zombies, as well as some birds. So this last location is kind of the... Uh, has the most the most tangos. Make sure I have my location right here. See the break zombies? Yeah, they're the Bogarts. Not what I intended. And here are the deer. So let's just go alert all of them. So they all start coming to hang out with us, including the birds and break zombies, which I think are like more up here. Last time I was able to draw them all into like this area right here. Oh, birds are here. I don't know if I got these deer's attentions. So again, that's it. I mean, this is the other location. Last time I was able to get the break zombies here. Um, but there are plenty of tangos here for you to play around with. Wow, that little snake thing is like still going. I I, I have not messed with, wow, that did a ton of damage with all of the blue magic um, enough, really. I don't think I'm gonna get a certainly not gonna help like i said be ready to you know as with any spell crafting check well not all of them but some of them i'm definitely using the wrong okay so the break zombies are here now um so yeah they'll come just keep keep battling yeah it's kind of a balance to not doing too much damage of course while, while still meeting your goals Ooh, I got a bird with it. So one last time, hopefully that helped. This is the Water Garden Central Refuge in Avalet, just southwest of Sepal. We've got some We've got some birds for your flying challenge right on the path here. We've got some deer and bogarts here. You know, you're going to, I think there's probably close to 10 here. So again, for the one where you have to hit 10 enemies at once, I would just find the zombie horde in my other video. And then here you've got the combination of birds, bogarts, deer, and break zombies. So you're more likely to get 10 enemies here. But again, with the zombies, they all stay bunched up. I hope this helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this does anything for you. I appreciate you watching, hearing me out. And yeah, thanks friends. Take care.